We are back, and the Deshaun Watson saga continues. So the NFL is appealing uh, former federal judge Sue Robinson's decision for a six-game suspension. I don't know if you can hear this, but it's raining outside. Uh, if, that, if that gets in the video, then I'm sorry. We're just going to have to deal with that. And so Deshaun Watson's playing situation is up in the air once again. It was stable for all of like a day and a half. It was going to be, he was going to be back in week seven. Now, who knows? Uh, the NFLPA and Deshaun Watson's camp said if the NFL appeals, then they are going to essentially sue the NFL after they make probably a much harsher suspension uh, than, they, than Sue Robinson gave him. And the Sue Robinson thing kind of came down to the NFL, in her eyes, setting a precedent for six games for what is alleged of Deshaun Watson. Uh, the NFL did say during the hearing that what they were asking for is for a punishment for Deshaun Watson was unprecedented. But they argued that since Deshaun's behavior was unprecedented, then that warranted an unprecedented uh, punishment. And if you read Sue Robinson's decision, her report on it, this isn't a case that people, some people online will have you believe where it's like, oh, Sue Robinson, just another person who found no evidence that Deshaun Watson did anything wrong. So that's why he got six games. Uh, no, if, if she really did think that, that, that Deshaun Watson didn't do anything, then she would have given him zero games. Sue Robinson made it very clear that Deshaun Watson did things that he shouldn't, at least, you know, she thought, and I, I tend to agree, that he did things that he shouldn't have. He put, he exposed things where it was not welcomed to be exposed, and she, and he, you know, did pretty, he, the, he, she basically said that the alleged things that Deshaun Watson is accused of doing, that he probably did them, again, not enough for a criminal conviction, obviously, there's no, like, actual hard evidence it, it, it's it there's proving and there's knowing and i'm pretty sure judge Sue robinson looked at all of this and said well maybe not be, being able to prove this in criminal court or maybe even in civil court she you kind of know that this happened so sue robinson making that decision based off of all the evidence the nfl gave her uh and she didn't say she pretty much said like the precedent it was is matching to six games she did not feel comfortable going over the precedent that she believes the nfl has set and the NFL has said, well, we're going to appeal this because we're going to, we're basically going to find somebody who's going to give us the suspension that we want. Uh, Roger Goodell will appoint somebody else. It's either going to be himself or somebody he appoints. And I imagine it'll be closer to the uh, 12 games without pay plus an $8 million suspension, uh, which is what they were reportedly negotiating with the NFL PA and Deshaun Watson's camp. Or maybe now that they've gone this far, maybe they just say screw it and go with the indefinite suspension and that, that he can appeal after 12 games or after a whole season or anything like that. Uh, but whatever decision they come to, the NFL does after they appeal this and they come up with something probably much harsher. Uh, the NFL PA and Deshaun Watson's camp are just going to sue the NFL anyway. And that's going to be, and while that's going through the court system, like with Tom Brady and Deflategate, Deshaun Watson won't be suspended then. It'll just be in the courts, and Deshaun Watson will be able to take part in every team activity. He'll be able to play in the games. So Deshaun Watson might actually be the starter for the Browns week one, because if if this happens and the NFL PA sues and everything, there's no way that this gets done uh, by September 11th. No flipping way that this gets done in, le in like a month. That's not happening. So Deshaun Watson, how long he plays this year, who knows? It is possible that if the suspension might come down before the end of the season. And it, I think, although I think the more likely thing is, whatever happens with the appeal, it'll probably, the suspension that he does get, whether it's six games or more, probably uh, comes down in year two, which means that he won't have that friendly base salary of $1 million uh, that the NFL can take his pay from. He'll probably end up having to pay way more money uh, than the, than the uh, he anticipated having to pay this year. Uh, if that suspension does kick in in year two. So this this video isn't going to be very long uh, because, I mean, there's not much to really say. A lot of it is up in the air as far as what will happen. The only news right now is that, yeah, this decision from Sue Robinson is no longer active. The NFL is going with something completely different right now. They're, they're going to go with a much harsher punishment, which, again, Deshaun Watson is, and his camp in the NFL PA will appeal. This will go through however many courts it has to before the final decision is reached. This could technically, this could be a Supreme Court case. I mean, if Deflategate almost got there, then I, I don't see why a, a something of this matter couldn't either. Uh, so that's pretty much it. The NFL has basically, uh, the, the, the Deshaun Watson stability uh, as far as w what he will play for this year lasted all of a day and a half. Uh, it was six games for a day and a half, and then now 
who knows nobody nobody knows anything anymore I like like nobody ever did really uh thank you all for watching the video who knows what's gonna happen i don't i'm almost speechless as you can tell uh if you liked it and you would like to see more please feel free to like and subscribe let me know what you think of the whole deshaun watson you know debacle in the comments below thank you all again for watching and i will see you at the next one